Hey everyone, my name is Taryn and thank you so much for stopping by my channel, Nicoli Flower House. This channel is all about my cut flower garden and I'm located in zone 7B. On last week's video, I did an update about my ranunculus and I did have some plants that died back recently due to our really cold weather. They just got frosted and it left some patchy holes. I also noticed as I started pulling out weeds that there are more holes than I realized. So I am going to start a new tray of ranunculus to plant in a few weeks. It might take them about, I don't know, maybe four weeks to be ready. And that'll give me a good succession sowing of ranunculus, which is something I've wanted to try for a while and just have never gotten around to it. The ranunculus that I have right now that are growing outside, I planted in the fall, and these ones will be spring planted. So I will see if I get an extended harvest off of these, or if they all stop flowering near a similar time when it gets too hot for them. I may also try using shade cloth to keep some of the intense heat off of them to see if that extends the harvest as well. We can have some pretty high temperatures in our springs here. These ranunculus I've had soaking in water for a few hours so they can rehydrate and then I'm just planting them up in a 72 cell tray. I probably don't have space out in the current ranunculus beds for 72 new plants, but I'm glad to have some backups. I can at least fill in all the holes and if there's other places in the garden to squeeze these in, I will do that as well. There are also holes in the anemone bed I could fill in, or I may start some Iceland poppies. Now these trays don't give them much space to grow, but as soon as they have roots and a decent amount of green foliage on them, I'm going to be transplanting them outside so they won't have to live in this tray for very long. I'm not doing the pre-sprouting step. I found that this works just fine for me. I have leftover ranunculus corms from when I started my plants in the fall, so that's what I'm going to use in these trays. I have found when shopping for ranunculus, some of the descriptions will say spring planted and some of them will say fall planted. I've never really been able to figure out if they're any different or not, so I just have always used them kind of interchangeably and I haven't had a problem doing that so far. I'm just doing a mixture of different colors and varieties that I had on hand, different amounts of each one. This isn't going to be very uniform or anything like that. But some of these you can see, you can actually split in half. So I just kind of gently pull these apart when I notice that there are two stuck together with individual crowns. And then I have two ranunculus. This would be something really useful if you were saving your own ranunculus from previous seasons. If anyone has experience doing this, please give us some comments below. It's not something I've been able to find a lot of information about, but I would love to know how to do that. Some of these though, I just haven't been able to separate. If I feel like it's gonna cause too much damage to the corm to get them apart, then I won't separate them. It was kind of funny though, as I was editing this video and I was watching this, I was like, oh, those two are almost apart. But then I gave up and just planted them together. If I had worked on that a little longer, maybe I could have gotten them apart, but those two just seem to want to stay together. Sometimes there's little stems and roots and things that I like to trim off too. I like to make sure the corms are nice and clean before I put them into the cell trays. If you haven't grown ranunculus before, I really encourage you to give them a try. They are such a beautiful flower. Sometimes they're even called the Rose of Spring. They're very popular and they last a long time in the vase if you cut them at the right time. You wanna harvest ranunculus when the bud is still closed but is soft and about to open. They are a little hard to transport if you cut them when they're fully open, but they are definitely one of my favorite flowers to use in my spring bouquets. 
Every year I've sold out of my ranunculus and I have several clients that just wait on these to be ready each season. They come in so many different colors and complement any kind of palette that you're working with. This year I'm trying some new ones, a festival mix and a super green white one that are multicolor in the same bloom. I've never tried those before so I'm really excited and I hope those come up so we can all see what they look like. I've always been drawn to the kind of muted colored palettes, the blushes and whites, but last year I was kind of missing brighter colors. I wanted something brighter and more fun to put in my bouquets, so this year I am intentionally planting a little more color than I did last year as far as all of the varieties that I'm selecting. All right, now that I have all these corms kind of smushed into these little cells, I just cover them up with my potting mix. I like to work with the soil a little bit dry. If the soil is too wet, it's kind of hard to get the corms down in there since the cells are pretty small. So they will need a decent drink of water now that I'm done. Now I'll just have to patiently wait a few weeks for these to start sprouting and putting on green foliage. This is the exact same method I used to get my plants ready for the fall. And here is some footage of what those plants looked like after they have been growing for several weeks. These are probably close to six weeks old on the plugs here, maybe four weeks. And I just pull them out and plant them straight into my garden. All winter long, I've been keeping multiple layers of frost cloth over these plants to try to overwinter them to get them to survive into the spring. Some of them did not survive and that is why I am starting the backup tray that you've seen me plant this video. These are the varieties that I planted up in this plug tray. And again, this is just what I had on hand left over from my fall planting. I didn't label the ranunculus that are out in the garden now, but maybe I will do better with that this time so I can know which is which and maybe I will be able to recognize them. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyways, that is all for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And the best way you can support me and my channel is to subscribe and share it with your flower-loving friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.